Hi everyone, Cordy here with Team Kramer Fishing, and fishing's been very tough uh, this week. The weather has been crazy. It's been warm and then cold and then warm and then cold. I did manage to kept, catch a couple fish, um, and I just thought I'd show you a couple little spots real quick. Um, these aren't super secret spots, but you know if you're new to the area and um, you just want to narrow your area down a little bit. Um, th these are pretty good early spring um, spots that'll give you a, a higher percentage chance to catch some fish. Um, and then I'll show the video of a couple fish that I caught, but the fishing hasn't been great. Um, it's been kind of a struggle, but I have managed to catch a couple fish. So I caught these fish in case you want to go there yourself. Okay, so I live in Ames, Ames, Iowa, and um, these spots are going to be right on the north edge of Ames. In the first video, I am at Peterson Pits, which you see quite a quite a few videos lately of me here. Um, it's it's a pretty well. I found that it's tougher to fish there in the summertime, but in the springtime, it's not too bad. So basically, you just go north of Ames here, and if you take a right on 180th Street, which is a gravel road. Um, it'll take you right out there, just north of town. Takes about five minutes, maybe ten minutes to get there. We'll say ten minutes. Okay, and then when you come in, um, you'll park. You'll come in this little gravel road, and the parking lot is right here. I'll switch over to Google Earth real quick. And when you get these warmer days, it's still late winter, but we've had kind of weird weather. Where, um, where we've had these just occasionally warm days. So you park right here, and there's a bunch of like concrete and like rip y type stuff. Um, it's just old like road or something that they that they dumped along here on this um, on this northeast corner. And from and the, and there's a pretty steep cliff, but right along here these rocks heat up, and there's a deep drop off down to it's pretty deep i mean it might go all the way down to 20 25 feet um but if you get some sun it will heat these rocks up and uh you'll get crappie and bass that, that come along here so this little spot from i'm going to say this point there's a dock right here all the way around this corner um is a pretty good spot to fish i wouldn't bring a gigantic fishing pole to fish here um I would bring something short because as you can see this is all lined with trees and you're going to basically be tossing out under the trees in most of these spots there's a couple spots here open spots that you can fish from here so that's my first um, spot and where you see me catching uh, the first fish in this video the second spot i'm going to show you is a is a pretty good trout spot now most of the time this is now we're going to go to ada hayden Ada Hayden Lake, which is, again, right in the city limits in North Ames. Here's where we were. Um, so sometimes the, the trout basically, they put a net here so that the trout almost all stay in this north part of the lake. And what I found is they essentially kind of follow the shoreline looking for food. A lot of fishermen will fish this little corner right here because it's close to the parking lot. But if you're having a tough day, um, consider moving down to this corner right here. Um, what I've what I've noticed is the trout will come along here, swimming the shoreline, and sometimes they'll start looping around. They'll get in this little this corner, and it's a little bit farther away from the parking lot, so less people fish there. They tend to focus under the bridge, and then back toward where the parking lot is. So if it's really busy. Um, or if it's just a tougher fishing day, this is where you see me catching uh, the trout later in this video. So, right, especially right in here. Um, and again, these aren't super secret fishing spots, but they're a little, you know, they'll help you narrow, narrow things down this time of year a little bit if you're new to the area. Okay, so here we go with the videos. Um, 
Again, fishing's been tough, but you know, I managed to catch a couple eyeball fish. Got one. That is a nice crappie. That's a fat, fat crappie right there. We get a measurement on him here. Beautiful fish. Eleven and a half, same size as the one I caught the other day. This one feels a little heavier. There we go. That one feels a little heavier. Nice looking crappie, healthy. Look at those colors in the sun. All right, we'll get him back. Might have found a nice little hole down here. Let's see. Changed up colors went with the red. Red and chartreuse. All right, everyone. It is crazy windy out there. Probably 30, 25, 30 miles per hour. Managed to catch at least one fish. That was nice. I had one more follow right up to the bank and swipe at it, but it missed. Um, this is probably going to be a last fishing outing before we leave, so probably be at least another week until I make any more actual fishing videos. Um, we're probably going to do a travel vlog, and then I'll set aside like the fishing videos into a separate playlist uh, for the California trip coming up. Um, and I'm going to throw a little bonus catch on at the end here since I only caught one fish. So we'll see you later. I'll have some more gear reviews as I'm unloading everything and, or digging everything out of storage and getting it kind of ready to pack. Um, you'll notice I've done a couple gear reviews. I'm gonna keep doing a few more of those, a couple more travel tips, and then we're gonna hit the road here in a few days. Uh, thanks for watching, bye-bye. Fish, fish on. Babe, where's your net? Babe. First, rainbow trout on a spinner. Rainbow trout. You know what I think I might use for a stringer? Is... Just give me my net. I'll keep it in the water and I'll make sure it doesn't get away. Actually, we can keep it so you don't need to... Yeah, just take your net off. There. And I'll just... Just unhook, unhook it and we'll just leave it sitting in there. And I'll watch over it because I'm not going to fish. You're not going to... What are you not going to fish for? You want me to put a spinner on you? I'm keeping care of the... I want, why don't you catch some fish and you can give some to grandma and grandpa maybe. Why don't you catch What do you think? You got it, Dad. It'll go in the net with the Maybe, why don't you catch one and then I'll teach you how to clean them and you can fry your own fish. We can make a Vivian catch and cook. Here, don't put it in the water. Just set it right down here. Right down there. Just set it on the ground. Yep, that's good. Flop the net over it so it doesn't... I mean... Look, here. Look. I'll go set it on the good rock. No, just set it right there. That's fine. 